Hi everybody! I'm kind of new at doing this kind of thing, but if you like it, um, I might do some more makeup tutorials or something cool in the future. But right now, I am going to tilt my camera because I don't like that angle very much. Okay, there we go. Very good. I am going to finally do a tea spill on um, what happened between me and Crescent Moon. And I know it's like two year old drama, right? Like when's the best time to dig up old shit? But in September, the ninth month, when we're working with all that, you know, release and return, that kind of thing, energy, and just letting go of old stuff. And I want to let this go. I, I don't want to get even. I want to get I'm mad and be a healthier person so I'm just gonna come right out and talk about why I was uh, banned as a reader from Crescent Moon so uh, this is the whole big spoiler alert the reason that I believe uh, I was banned from Crescent Moon was because I had become a toxic employee like huge spoiler alert right you get banned and kind of have to suffer the consequences of your own behavior but I was going through quite a bit at that time I was uh, trying to get married I was changing social groups I was getting to know my fiance my now husband and it was a lot for me and I had I had burnout I had really bad burnout um, and I should have walked away from the position about six months prior to really, you know, preserve any kind of friendships I had there or anything like that. But I didn't. I um, chose to stay because I thought that I really needed the money for a court case I was going through. And so I had the wrong motive for being in a spiritual position. And it just kind of goes downhill from there. You know, I wasn't there to help people. I wasn't there to be a part of the universe those last six months. I was just there to get my money and uh, move on. And that's not, that's not a good reader. That's not where I wanted to be. And that's not what they wanted down at Crescent Moon. I also didn't show up on time. Um, and I, I was not reliable. I was not reliable. My defenses had gone up, so I was a little more mean than I usually am. Um, my social anxiety was such that I felt really cornered and sort of like singled out, which may or may, may not have been the truth. It was two years ago. So, but that's, that's the T and, uh, I think what it comes down to is that, you know, we turn toxic in our lives like there's the other spoiler alert um we do we turn toxic we go off on people we treat people poorly we we do it we're human it happens but what you do to combat it i think is what's really important so i never really gave um the owner of crescent moon an opportunity to explain herself on why she decided to to ban me from the store so we can clear up the obvious of that you know i didn't steal from them um you know i just had kind of gotten gotten really toxic and they let me go uh, I'm still hurt by the whole banning issue. I had thought that I had a little bit of a more of a rapport kind of built up with the owners over the 10 years that I had known them up until that point. And I'm still kind of hurt by those actions. But the one thing I do, I do need to address as I'm, I'm doing like my makeup here is that I, <laughs> for whatever reason, just decided to mouth off on a pagan community site. Um, and I, I do, I apologize for that. I'm going to do a blanket of that was just kind of straight up toxic just because, you know, I have my baggage. It really doesn't affect, you know, anything really. There's not that many stores that sell the things that we like. And if you want to go to Crescent Moon, go to Crescent Moon. 
from what I hear, they have a big, big, beautiful store. And, uh, you know, that's about it. But I spoke out about, oh, don't go to Crescent Moon. They're horrible people. I shouldn't have said that. That was the wrong thing to say. That was toxic. That was me being toxic, continuing the whole thing. And it was just wrong. And that's not, that's not who I want to be as a person. I may not like somebody, but I really feel strongly against trying to sabotage their business or their way to make a living. So I kind of, uh, I was a bad person. I don't feel good about it. So I'm sorry, guys. I will, I will try better. Um, as far as like my toxicity level, and have I changed since I worked at Crescent Moon? Oh yeah. I've I've changed a lot. I don't I don't hang out with myself. <laughs> this is kind of a funny thing. We're with ourselves all the time, but you don't you don't hang out with yourself to know like I know that I've taken a lot of time to work on me and it feels good. It feels really good to unravel the mystery that is me and why I do the things that I do, why I respond the way I respond, and what I can do to be a more positive member of society and to push more, um, more into life rather than, than keep taking from it. So, uh, I got, like, I feel like I need so much sleep. I don't. This trying to get pregnant at 40, you guys, this is like no joke. I question my sanity every step of the way. I'm like, I can barely walk up the stairs and I'm going to sign up for a newborn. Oh boy. So that's the tea. I'm sorry. That's the tea. The whole reason that I had a falling out with Crescent Moon was I wasn't being a very, very good human. I definitely did not give her the chance to explain exactly why I was being banned from Crescent Moon. Um, I still don't really care, but I'm still hurt, but I just don't want to be the same asshole. And I definitely don't want to be known for being so bitter that I will speak out against something it's a gift shop, you guys. It's a it's a it's a gift shop. There's two great gift shops really close to each other, and I mean like within 30 minute walking distance. And I think that's fabulous. That's fabulous. And Crescent Moon and Mystic Sanctuary, they're both good places to shop. And I can't I really can't say anything about how the management at Crescent Moon treats its employees. I got to correct that that I said anything about how they treat their employees. I was not one of their employees. I was a reader and a reader is an outside person that holds a contract with management. And um I don't know how she treats her employees. I know how she treated her readers. My check was always on time. You know, I, I've honestly, I've had oh, well over 30 jobs in my lifetime. I'm one of those people. And, and they just, they don't fall under my top five worst bosses. They really don't. They're decent. They really are. And I can't speak on what I don't know on. And so all I can tell you is that, you know, as a, as a reader, it was kind of a good place to work. She stood up for us. Our checks were on time. Me and her had some personal issues, that's between me and her, but as a business, you know, who, that was an asshole thing for me to do, for me to go off on the, the pagan thing, like, that, that was a dick maneuver, and I apologized to the pagan community, and I apologized to Crescent Moon, shouldn't have done that, but that's the tea, when you become toxic, people will push you away. Don't curl up in a ball. Don't go more toxic. Stop. Breathe. And try to figure out. Because you're the one thing all your problems have in common is you. You know. <laughs> you're the one thing. Stop and, and just breathe. Just breathe. And when you're ready, try to look at yourself. That's what I did. I'm still growing. But that's my, that's my thing. I didn't do much makeup. Don't worry, people. I'm going out in public today. And I will do my makeup. I won't, I won't do this to the world. 